what's up beautiful people welcome back to another video in this new year reset series um today we are refreshing my closet i need help and i have come to terms with that so i called my friend asia who is actually a professional stylist she styled me for my red carpet look in la and she is just thebomb.com so she's gonna help me organize my closet kind of see like shop my closet too, like see what i have and like what i need to get rid of what i should donate how to pair things with different things that i never think to pair with um so yeah in this new year i'm really trying to not spend too much on clothes and like buying things for every occasion that i feel like i need to so i think this is going to be a really good help so I want to introduce you to Asia. Hey, girl. <laughs> Hi, guys. So, Asia here. Yeah, let us know, like, what we're going to be doing. Yes, so first we are going to purge Erin's closet. It's going to get a little bit ugly before it gets extremely beautiful. <laughs> so we'll take everything out section by section. We'll go through anything that's an immediate no, we'll put in a don donation bag. Mm -hmm. Anything that we want to try on in style, we'll do that, and we'll start to ma mix and match different outfits. Yay! Okay, I'm so excited. So let me show y'all my closet because so we share a closet so Cameron's side is like pristine and then my side is just like dun, dun, dun. yeah <laughs> <laughs> um I have like blazers pants and then I don't know I guess jackets, jackets and then jackets. sweaters and mm -hmm. shirts and Audie, and then Audie always choose shoe. this shoe <laughs> she's already gotten to it oh, babe no. can you take her out there leave it Okay, so where do we start, Asia? Okay, so <laughs> typically I like to start from top to bottom. So we're going to start with this like blazer jacket section here. Okay. I love that you already have matching hangers, so that's good. That's like oh, a really yeah. big thing that I typically recommend for my clients. If yeah. they don't, I'll, if they have like plastic hangers and some black ones, I'll switch them out. Oh, okay. But you already have like a good selection of matching hangers. So let's start... Oh, girl. It's more I know. back there than I even saw. That. I know. It's a lot. Okay, so she's pulling everything out and putting them on this rack so we can actually yes. see what I have. Because I think that's a big problem. It's like I sometimes can't even see what I even have. Yes, definitely. And then you end up gravitating towards the same stuff because you can see it. Yeah. That's definitely one of my goals this year, too, is to just wear the things in my closet. Yeah. But it's like you feel bad because some of it is gifts mm -hmm. and like, mm -hmm. that's why I kind of try not to buy people clothes for gifts. Same. It's like, same. You just same. don't really know if they actually will wear Exactly. Is that everything? That's everything. Wow, I haven't seen that side. that clear. Okay. Oh, okay, this is definitely cute. Keeping... I love the Frankie yes. shop. That's definitely <laughs> a yes. That is a thing. Yes. Love that. This one's cute too. This yeah. looks a little newer. Yes. Have well, you worn it yet? Yes, I have. Okay. But I don't wear it that much because it's such like a statement. Blazer. It is. It is. But it is cute. Yeah, I like that. I want to keep this match that one in different ways. What about this yellow? So I wore this. It is. I wore this for the Nikon campaign because they asked oh, us fun. to wear yellow. Uh huh. So this is actually pretty new. Okay. Also, I think from the Frankie shop. But that's one of those pieces where it's like, what do you wear, wear it with? When, where am I going to wear it again? When you what wore it for wear? Nikon, what did you wear it with? Jeans, mm -hmm. slacks? Yeah, I this wore it one. With jeans. Mm hmm. And then like a little, kind of like this. Kind of like, like a, a crop top. Yeah. That I wore for a brand photo shoot. Mm hmm. And it was very cute for that, but I don't know yeah. how I'll wear it again. Here, like, I kind of want you to try it on. Okay. Like, it fits cute. Yeah, it fits cute. You know? I like this one. I think we can play around with it. Okay. And keep it. So, yeah. my friend slash mm -hmm. realtor just gave me this. I'm gonna oh. Try. Um, It's really good quality. Like, it's yeah. real leather. Mm -hmm. It's just very fitted. Very. Like, oh, that's cute. Yeah. You would probably, yeah, have to stick to, like, crop tops. Yeah, like, some of the sleeves yeah, might be a little bit too. Yeah, it's very tight. It's almost like a shirt jacket, you yeah. know? Mm -hmm. It's cute, though. I love yeah, it. Yeah, it's cute. So this one is a suit that Erin has had in her wardrobe for how long, girl? <laughs> I think, like, three years. Three years? Maybe she's two. never worn it. I think I got it when we were engaged. Oh, so, yeah. yeah, like, three years. Mm -hmm. That's a long time. But However... It's so cute. The pattern would be great for like a formal speaking engagement. Yeah. 
she just has a few things she needs to get altered a little bit in the waist which you guys can't see and then just a little hem yeah. see it and like gaps be perfect back. yeah so we're gonna keep this one in the wardrobe and just put it in a tailoring pile okay she was not feeling this on the hanger no, either. No, it looks way better on, for yeah, sure. Yeah, it does. Cute. This one, a little outdated. Yes, okay, great. <laughs> okay, so now she's color organizing. Are you organizing by color or material? A little bit of, well, color, color mostly, color first. But then sometimes I like to put patterns together. Okay. So we'll see as I go along. And that can probably get moved. Yeah, this might end up getting moved. Yeah. More of like a sweatsuit. Plus, I feel like this is good too because when we yeah. put it in, these are going to be toward the back. Exactly. And these are more, are more summery. summery. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I like, even though these have like more white in them, I like them this way since they're heavier and mm -hmm. with like the plaids. Yeah. You want to do the, the pants or should we do these to kind of continue with the... Well, these, I think I'm going to complete i think i'm gonna move those to a completely different section i think i'm oh, gonna okay. move those there oh wonderful so i kind of want to do this first okay. and then we'll do the bottom and then also we have mm -hmm. a closet in the room down there so like if you're like we don't need to even keep stuff in, in here, here then we can move them over there i think i like that idea because i see like some of these jackets yeah and it's just like i might one move to a different space, but let's keep okay. going this way this first. Way. Okay. Pants. I know I can so purge hard. some pants because yeah. mm -hmm. I just have way too many, too many, but not enough at the same time. Right. Because I'm like, I get certain cuts and then I grab the same stuff mm -hmm. every time. Sad. These are like know. such a good pair of jeans, mm -hmm. and they were expensive. I know they're like a hundred something dollars. Yes, I know. And they're a bit too small. Like this hurts. Aaron getting thickums out here, <laughs> which is a great thing. I know. I want to gain weight, but yeah. it's just like, oh, some of my favorite clothes won't I fit. Know. I did a big pants purge. Yeah. Proud of you, E. I know. I I figured this would be a big mm -hmm. section. <laughs> So now I'm kind of just hanging them. Typically, I like to put the buttons towards the front. Hmm, okay. So that you can, like, kind of, you know, see the full pant as yeah. hanging. Yeah. And I had so many pants doubled up, so now right. I don't have now to because we have extra hangers. hangers. Look at all these extra hangers, except for this wire hanger. Oh, God. Okay, Asia, how do you feel about capsule wardrobes? So I'm definitely a huge fan of the capsule wardrobe. I feel like every man, every woman needs to have just like a few like essential, like staple items that mm -hmm. you have in your closet at all times. Like a classic pair of jeans, a classic pair, pair of dark jeans, a classic pair of slacks. But I definitely am also a fan of having like those statement pieces too that are like a little bit more special that mm -hmm. you don't wear as often. Like some of the things that we have in here. Um, but I definitely think that you can have like a little bit of both. Like it's good to have an essential capsule wardrobe, like yeah. your staple pieces that you just mix and match for every day. And then like your few outliers. Like I feel like the issue is that some people go a little bit too crazy with the outliers. You'll have yeah. all statement pieces and not enough capsule. Yeah. So that's where it kind of comes in where they're like, mm. oh, I have so many clothes, but I never know what to wear because... A lot of the pieces that you have are more statement and aren't as easy to make. Yeah. And like, that don't, sense. do people, do you feel like people mostly buy statement pieces when they're like going out or like yes. looking for an outfit mm -hmm. and then they can't repurpose exactly. it as much? Okay. Yeah. So I feel like, yeah, definitely a lot of people are like, oh, I'm going out. I want something special. But my thing is when I'm shopping, I typically like to think, okay, what are, before I even purchase it, I'm like, what are three ways I can easily wear these pants? before I even buy them. And I think of things that I already have in my wardrobe, like, okay, this is gonna go great with like my denim jacket or whatever. Mm -hmm. And if I'm like, oh, I need a classic bodysuit to go with it. Like that's kind of how I shop yeah. in my head, like as, you know, as I go. Mm -hmm. So that's like, if you can wear something three ways, then that's like a good capsule state piece. piece. Okay. Yeah. We are making progress we and sure I feel are. so much better. Like, oh, I feel like I need to do this every year mm -hmm. or even like, Seasonally. Seasonally, yeah, like summer, winter. Um, but now we are moving into sweats, and so far, 
The bag is getting full. <laughs> Um, and we're moving to sweats now sweats is like my problem child because I wear them all the time But I don't really have a designated place for them And I feel like sometimes you you feel like you shouldn't hang your sweats because it's like well, it's sweats, you know But they just end up everywhere in my closet. So I usually stuff them in these sections They're up there. They're in here and I just it's a mess so recommend a few like organizational products for errand approaches i love these dividers they just oh and they clamp on right the... on oh, they're perfect that. for like the sweats to kind yeah. of keep them like a little bit more separated, separated. yeah so that they don't get as cluttered cluttered yeah you can definitely do one on the top and on the bottom oh perfect kind of just, like put them right in the middle yeah and that definitely helps okay yeah yeah no i definitely so need that in there. okay asia said yes. i have about one day mm -hmm. to wear this dress mm -hmm. <laughs> we're gonna do a new year's eve photo shoots yeah it's very cute actually so a friend fresh. gifted it to me but it is very tight great i feel like my boobs are gonna pop Break it. Out. but yeah. it at least deserves some photos i know it does okay we're on to bags pretty much everything ah! i'm so excited is done mm -hmm. clothes wise and we're gonna put a few looks together of stuff that i don't really know how to style very well but we're finishing up the closet with purses yes. and perfume we're gonna organize these okay we are done and it looks so good it just feels so much better like, mm -hmm. I feel like I can breathe. And honestly, I don't even remember the stuff that I got rid of. Right, which is a good thing. Yeah, and then look how many extra hangers. It's like I bought a whole new pack of hangers because nothing is, so yeah, we perched so much. But I still feel like I have a lot of stuff, you know? Right. Um. So now, so now we are going, oh, that lighting is so bad. Now we're going to style some pieces that I was like, I don't know mm -hmm. how to, like I've worn them, but I feel like I could get more wear out of them if I right. knew a couple other ways to wear them. I'm going to show Erin. She loves these leather shorts that we decided to keep in her wardrobe. So I'm just going to show her how to style them in some really fun ways since she doesn't wear them often, but I definitely think she could be wearing them way more. Yeah, I agree. Mm -hmm. And then we pulled a couple other pieces too that we're going to style. Yes. So that's like a classic black blazer. Mm -hmm. And then. Hey, I feel so much better. The closet looks amazing. I got some outfits styled. I shot my closet. I'm so happy because I'm the one to like resort to just running to the store and buying stuff. And in 2023, I'm like, I am not doing that. I'm always traveling, speaking and mm -hmm. all that. And I don't need to keep buying like new clothes every single time. Right. So highly recommend you ha have somebody particularly Asia, um, help you with this because I feel like for me, I get emotionally attached to like certain clothes. I'm like, oh my God, Definitely. someone bought this for me, but right. I haven't worn it in three years. Mm -hmm. So it's like, mm -hmm. I felt like it was nice to know like stuff that I've second guessed or like just don't reach for. You're like, right. no, Aaron, just like get rid of this. It's not cute anymore. You know, some of the things, <laughs> some of the sentimental things like that baby outfit, we kept oh, yeah. that. But some of them were like, yeah, we can let go of these. Yeah, exactly. So um, do you do this for people who don't live in Michigan? Yes, okay. definitely. I travel all over. I've been to Texas, New York, LA, closet clean out, styling sessions, editorial shoots too. Ooh. So do I'm you do it virtual? Over. Virtually, okay. yes, definitely, especially during the pandemic, that became a big thing. So yeah. we can do a virtual consultation like via Zoom, or I can send you like a style board, like a shoppable, basically like a shoppable PDF of outfits, which yeah. is really nice too. Ooh, well you guys mm -hmm. are gonna see more of Asia cause she's gonna help style me for some yes, upcoming so things. Excited. So we're excited about that. 
overall i'm so happy to i feel like a weight just is like lifted. lighter yeah i feel Literally. lighter i feel it's like, like when shedding I, dead weight yeah and i feel like when i go in there i'm gonna be so much more inspired to like pick mm -hmm. out clothes because i can like, see everything yes. like everything's not everything like doubled up is something and... that i know that i want exactly. you know so mm -hmm. anyway i hope you guys enjoyed this video i'm gonna leave all of asia's information in the description so you guys can check it out mm -hmm. and yeah hopefully work with her yes. well i am gonna be doing more refresh stuff content in this upcoming few weeks so on that note i will see you guys later bye for now